In Cameroon's Anglophone region, two years of unrest has resulted in the deaths of scores of people, the displacement of tens of thousands, and a huge decline in the country's tourism sector. However, a tour operator is positive that the upcoming elections will in turn solve the crisis. Taking up a road down the river is one of the best ways to experience Kribi, a beach resort town in southern Cameroon. Tour guide Guai Muofo points at the forest originally inhabited by pygmy communities to share some history with a group of tourists. The number of visitors to this region has dropped over the last two years since government forces moved to crush a movement of anglophone teachers and lawyers protesting against the perceived marginalization by the country's French-speaking majority. The protests have morphed into an insurgency of separatists seeking independence for the Anglophone Southwest and Northwest regions. This crisis will be a key factor when voters go to the polls on October the 7th. I would like for decentralization to take effect in Cameroon. What I mean by decentralization is that power should be transferred into the hands of the people. Districts should have control over what is happening in their communities, in which case they will then be able to create employment because they are in touch with what the people need. They know best what the people need. Early in April, a group of European tourists were reported by the government to have been kidnapped as they traveled through the southwest region by separatist militants. Analysts say short of separation, decentralization may appeal to protesters in the West because it will give them more control of resources in their region. I have done my best to try and understand what each candidate is offering, even if I am not a big fan of television. I try to look at Facebook and I look at what people have been saying about the different presidential candidates. Personally, I'm still skeptical. I'm still skeptical when it comes to the different candidates. Even right now, I'm still skeptical. But I also have some things I would like to say, which is we have a beautiful country, very rich. Nine candidates will stand for election next month, including 85-year-old President Paul Beer, who is widely expected to extend his 35 years in power. And that's it on the program. Thanks for watching. I'm Teniola Shavuali.